Can Sunni, can Sunni woman marry Ismailis? Okay, I'll tell you something. If, if this Ismaili brother believes that his Imam is infallible, that his Imam knows Ilm al Ghaib, Ilm al Ghaib, the knowledge of the unseen, that the Imam has the right to change the religion. Say, instead of praying five, you pray three prayers. If you believe that he has a right to cancel Hajj, to cancel Zakat, to change the religion because he has a special relationship with Allah, that he is made of light, then this Muslim Sunni woman is not allowed to get married with this, some, uh, with this person. If he's only Ismaili by name, Ismaili by name, he's a Muslim, he prays the five daily prayers, he doesn't believe in this aqidah, he doesn't believe in these beliefs. He believes in the five daily, uh, five pillars of Islam. He believes that Muhammad Sallallahu was a human being not made of light. Ali was not made of light. He's Ismaili only by name. Then the nikah could be halal. The nikah could be permissible in this case. But she has to be careful. She needs to make sure that he's only Ismaili by name. <laughs> if he's a pure Ismaili who believes in all these things, then she's not allowed to get married with him. She's not. I have to be honest with you. I cannot hide this fatwa. I cannot hide it. Unfortunately. Because someone who believes that someone else beside Allah knows the ilm al ghaib he's what? He's rejecting the guidance of the Quran. And the one who rejects the guidance of the Quran, clear proofs of the Quran, he will be in big trouble on the Day of Judgment. You cannot go against the Qur'an because of the tradition of your parents or ancestors. They will not help you on the Day of Judgment.